So you want to learn how to record voiceovers using Audacity, huh? I stick around because that's what I'm teaching on this episode of Digital Media Pocket Knife. What's up? Thanks for tuning in. My name's Steve Kwasinski, and on this episode, I'm going to show you the simplest way there is to record voiceovers using Audacity. Audacity is a digital audio workstation that's free to use, easy to install, and even easier to set up. One thing you're going to need to record your voiceovers is a microphone that's internal on your computer or an external microphone. I've got a Blue Yeti microphone that I love to use. It plugs into USB and it records great sound. I'll leave a link in the description below for resources on recording audio to your computer. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So as you can see, I've got Audacity open here. And the first thing you're seeing is a stage with a whole bunch of tools up top. Don't panic. This program is very easy to use. You're going to focus on a certain set of tools at first. And then later when you get more experience with the program, you'll be able to start clicking around up top here to, to mess around with some of the more advanced features. So once I've got my microphone hooked up to my computer, I want to make sure that the program is actually recognizing that microphone. So I, I'm going to click on Edit and then go down to Preferences. And you want to make sure that you're on the Devices menu here. And then under Recording, I see Device. And then there's a drop-down menu. I've got my Yeti stereo microphone uh, selected uh, since that's the one I've got hooked up and that's the one I want to record to. So that's good. If you have a different microphone, let's say you have one built into your computer, this would be my uh, microphone array real tech microphone. You can use that as well. I prefer my Yeti at this point. Um, and that's how you select the microphone that you want to use to record your voiceover. Make sure that your playback device is set to your default setting um, or your default speakers. You could also do it to your computer monitor, but just I think the default speaker is the one that you want to select, uh, makes it the most the, the easiest to use. Then we're going to click OK, and we can get started recording our audio. The one button up top that I want you to focus on right now is this red dot. That's the record button. As soon as I click that, we can see that my voiceover is now being recorded in the program. The waveform is there. My levels look good. As long as this is in the green here, I'm okay. If it gets any louder, if it gets in the yellow or if it gets in the red and starts peaking, you want to stop recording, adjust the levels on your microphone, and then continue to record after that. If it's red or if it's yellow, it's going to be blown, and bad audio is going to ruin whatever voiceover you're trying to do. As soon as you're done recording, I want you to hit the stop button and we see that the program has stopped recording. Then we're going to export that file to a mp3 file. So we're going to click on file. We're going to go to export audio. I'm going to name this uh, voiceover test. Make sure that in the save as type drop down that I've got mp3 selected. Click save. You're going to get a couple prompts here. This first prompt is to enter metadata. You don't really need this. You can edit the track name, the artist, uh, the year, etc., etc. If you click OK, that's going to work just fine. And the audio was saved. So now I'm going to go back to my desktop here. I'm going to do voiceover test. Double click this one. As soon as I click that, we can see that my voiceover is now being recorded in the program. The waveform is there. My so the voiceover is recorded successfully. The file lives on my computer, and I can now insert the voiceover into any program that I want. I can upload it to SoundCloud. I can put it on my Google Drive. I can bring it into my favorite video editing program. Whatever I want to do, I'm now able to because I've successfully recorded my voiceover. And that is how you record a voiceover using Audacity. If you're getting stuck anywhere along the way, leave a comment below, let me know where you're stuck, and I'll be happy to help. If you want more media production tips to beef up your skill set, hit the subscribe button below, and also make sure you click the bell icon to get notified when new videos are uploaded. That's it for this episode, I'm Steve Kwasinski, and I'll see you next time.